Neurodivergence is a term that describes people with autism and other conditions which present both strengths and challenges. Author Elle McNichol is on the autism spectrum, and she's written an award-winning young adult novel entitled A Kind of Spark. The story revolves around Addie, a teen with autism, exploring how to fit into her community while trying to solve a 400-year-old mystery. VYU TV has commissioned a series that stays true to the spirit of the book by casting actors living with autism in leading roles. This show is special because this is the kind of show that I really needed when I was 11 years old. It was the kind of show that I really needed when I was 18 years old. It was very important for me to have neurodivergent actors. From the moment my publisher picked up the phone and said, there's some TV people that would like to talk to you, I said, only if they're going to cast autistic actors. Mark, <laughs> a beautiful thing um, about autism is that when you meet people, you don't really, you don't really have small talk. Small talk doesn't really exist. You kind of um, go on like a level eight of friendship. You're like, oh yeah, great. Like this is my life, and this is everything oversharing. And, you, and then the other person is like, yeah, me too. And then you just feel like you've known each other for years because you've literally overshared your entire life to each other. With me, Lola, and Georgia, it's it only helped connect us, and I think that's why we have such a strong chemistry and like bond as sisters as well because we have that luxury to kind of be so open around each other from day one. It's been really great <laughs> working with them and not having to mask around them and having people whose brains work in the same way has just been something that's really warmed me. <laughs> I've never felt more me. They've helped me learn how to be more me. They're just the most understanding, empathetic, deep human beings. Lo I mean, they're, they're my sisters now. Okay, nice and quiet, still rehearsing. A lot of autistic people, uh, myself included, tend to be very much people pleasers and slipping into those sort of tendencies is not always a good way to look after yourself. My advice would be to surround yourself with people that bring up your energy rather than dragging it down. We see it every day with people interacting with us and kind of saying things that they think is going to help and oh. actually just makes it ten times oh, worse. Number one on my list, number one on my list. Like, you don't seem autistic, like, congratulations. Yeah, I get that so often. It's oh, like, oh, yeah, like, oh. I, I, could never have I could never guess. I would never have told that you're autistic. So, like, well done you. And it's like, no. I know that comes from a great place where you're trying to make me feel good, but that just undermines every person that's autistic. As you go forward, uh, you'll find obstacles, but as does every other person in the whole wide world, and you can't let that stop you from doing anything. It's so exciting to think that we're part of something quite radical and quite historic and then we're telling a story that's not been told before and we're talking about a point of view that's been suppressed for a very long time and I think that's pretty special. I think making a little bit of history is very special. Watching A Kind of Spark will help us all understand each other a little better. Tune in or use the free BYU TV app to watch anytime. See you again for another BYU TV Insider.